Okay, so this is a, well, this might be a beer review of a new India Pale Lager that Wally made, or it might be a beer review of a black IPA. All right, sorry about that. So, um, like I was saying, Wally said he sent me a new India Pale Lager. He affectionately calls a nipple, um, and he got some help on the name, as he said, with uh, me, and, me and Josh. I think, no, me and uh, Nate. Um, when I unpacked them, I, there were two. There was, a, there was a barley wine, there was a um, coffee stout, then there were two bottles that were marked uh, Black IPA with Hornetol, 7%. This one is, I mean, I held them both up. They both look dark. So I'm thinking I got two Black IPAs and somebody got two nibbles. All right. Um, it's kind of funny. So uh, anyway, this will probably be a black IPA, but if any of the two bottles are lighter, this is the one that was, you know, I really couldn't tell, but I think it's gonna be a black IPA, and yes, it is the black IPA. And I think the other one is a black IPA as well. All right. It's nice and clear. Uh, yep, dark color. Looks like a, just a slightly lighter than a porter. So that's to me seems like it would be right on right on the money for a black IPA. Um, the, it's got a nice head there. I, I kind of poured it easy because I didn't know if he had any stuff in the bottom of the bottle. He doesn't, uh, but I can see that it's got a nice head and it's not going anywhere. It's kind of persisting, so that's cool. So let's get uh, aroma. Smells like an IPA. I don't even smell any of the dark roast malts in there. So it, you know, if I wasn't looking at it, I would be expecting an IPA when I, just based off the nose alone. So, cheers, Wally. That is really good. That is really good. Whoa. So this is a, you know, I've had, I guess, the kind of black IPA craze was started by Dogfish Head, I think, the Indian Brown. Um, and I like that one. It's, I think the Indian Brown's a little lighter than most black IPAs. Um, but it was the first one. At least I think. I mean, at least that's what I read somewhere. Um, but a lot of the black IPAs I've had have been a little too much like a porter or too, a little too on the roasted side. This one is not... I mean, it's ju it's got just enough of the roast in there that I can, that I, you know, that I, but, but if I was not paying attention, I was just drinking this, like smelling it and drinking it, I would be like, wow, it's a, you know, it's a multi IPA. Uh, but I think this is what they were going for. Now I'm getting a little bit of the lingering uh, dark, you know, uh, dark malts in the back of my, back of my tongue. But man, this thing is really good. And it's 7% too, so it's no joke. <clears throat> it's not to be trifled with lightly. Uh, and this has got the Hornet All yeast in it. I need to read up on that. I'm not really sure. I don't, is, that a, is that a Kvike yeast? I don't know. Um, I think it is. I don't know. There's so many like Norwegian stuff going on with our yeast these days. Yeah, this, this, this would not stay in my keg very long. Um, this is a, uh, it's kind of a best of both worlds. It's kind of like you don't want a porter, you don't want an IPA, you drink this. It's like, you know, in the middle, slightly skewed to the IPA. Uh, see if I've got that right, Wally. That's what you were shooting for. Uh, but yeah, this is a good one, man. Um, and I have another one in there, I think. I'll, I'll cam up when I open it, but it's marked black IPA and it looks like the same color. So somebody out there has got two new India Pale Lagers. Somebody's got two nipples. <clears throat> we all have two nipples, but somebody's got four nipples. Hmm. Well done, man. Um, this is a weird work day. Um, got a lot done, but I, did, I don't feel like I got a lot done. Have you ever had one of those days? You know, you bust your ass, you work, you get a lot of stuff done, and then you still feel that there's so much more to do. Um, one of those days I had today. And this is a good way to wrap it up. Mm. 
Okay, I've, I've, I've uh, babbled on enough. Hey, thanks Wally, thank you for the send and uh, I'll cam up for each of these and uh, except unless there's a second uh, black IPA, which I, I'm pretty sure there is. Uh, but man, I know uh, Heather's really looking forward to getting into the barley wine. She's a barley wine queen, um, so we'll do that at some point, maybe this weekend. Um, and then I still have those. Uh, I drank one of the IPAs yesterday. I drank the Citra High. Um, I haven't drank the Galaxy High or the Sabretooth IPA. I might do the Sabretooth tonight. The caps are playing, so you never know. All right. Hey, have yourself a happy homebrew and a happy homebrew Wednesday. Cheers.